Hi guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing an unboxing with you guys i'm going to be showing you this beautiful hair i received and i'm also going to be showing you guys how i do the lazy girl install okay if you know me i'm not a hair guru or anything of that sort but somehow i managed to get my hair laid if i do say so myself so today i'm going to be showing you guys how it's done so before we move on to how the hair was bleached and styled and all of that good stuff I quickly want to give you guys the details of this hair so this hair is a 22 inch 180 percent density water wave wig and it was sent to me by yulisa hair um shipping took less than a week about four to six days i'll talk more about the hair later on let us just get on to bleaching the frontal okay so to bleach the frontal i used this 12 percent developer plus the sachet bleach i got from the from the market we'll say market to be precise so i went ahead to mix both of them together and apply it on the frontal can't feel shit like it's over. Okay, wake up tomorrow and we do the same. Hit the brakes, baby, turn on the brake light. And as you can see, my consistency isn't too like watery. You have to make it thick so it doesn't seep through the um, frontal onto like the actual hair. And guys, did I mention this bleach is just 15 naira? Like. 15 hour you guys okay so now i just placed my hair on the table protected with the newspapers and now i'm just going to be flipping the frontal slash closure part inside out so this will just enable me apply the bleach um, seamlessly on it Just got off the phone with Gucci Sipping rosé, I've been thinking Bad mind gone, put on your TV then I did it now, yeah. So now that I'm done applying the bleach, I'm going to go ahead and put a newspaper underneath just to avoid it transferring. And then I'm going to go ahead with a full paper to cover it just so it could bleach properly. My brake light. So I initially wanted to leave it for 25 minutes, but then I was actually scared because of the texture of the hair. It was super soft. So I ended up leaving it for about 10 to 12 minutes. So to wash up the bleach and to wash the hair in general, I used the tresemme healthy volume shampoo and then i went ahead to dip it into the keratin treatment milk so i left it in the water and after then i went ahead to use this um hawaiian silky miracle worker it says it does 14 things in this small bottle but to be honest i feel like it just added a bit more lush and shine to the hair but the other things it preached about i really don't know guys so this is what the front frontal and the entire hair looks like after washing off the bleach and soaking in the keratin treatment milk and guys just look at what this 15 hour bleach did to my frontal like let me know in the comment section if you feel it was bleached properly or not but anyway i'm just brushing the hair backwards right now just so i could see the full frontal in its glory and know the parts i want to pluck and you know yeah all that good stuff in terms of plucking i really do not know how to explain how i plucked this frontal but basically i'm going to be showing you guys all i can say is i brought some hair forward just so i could pluck it properly and so it could look natural so enjoy the video guys them i pray them i think say we secular nothing to prove man stay spiritual i know we ain't regular but you my regular schmegular Hit the brakes baby turn on the brake lights One them pump up the bass make me shake up me waistline Say they be checking for me then I see my brake lights Smoking at the air all you see is my shadow and the strobe light ah, Strobe lights, strobe lights Strobe lights Shine brighter than strobe lights, strobe lights 
Shine bright like a strobe light, strobe light Strobe light so once I'm satisfied with the plucking, I'm just going to go ahead to apply a bit of this Hawaiian silk thing again. Then I'm just going to let the hair dry and move on to install it. So this is after a few weeks of traveling and being busy and all of that good stuff. So now I am going to be installing the wig on my head. And as you can see, it's looking a bit dry and that's okay because I'm going to revive it in a bit. So stay tuned and watch the installation process. Sipping rose, I've been thinking. Bad mind, go and put on your TV. Then you did it, now you see me. Don't be talking shit up. So, yeah, like you saw, I just applied some Eco Styler gel on my edges just to slick everything down in preparation for the installation. And then I originally wanted to use this cap, you guys, but I realized it was too much stress. Too much stress, and I was like, no 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 so i'm just going to skip to where i fixed it without the cap because that was what i ended up doing so now i'm just positioning the wig on my head and just making sure it fits right can't feel shit like it's over okay wake up tomorrow and we do the same hit the brakes baby turn on the bright lights one them pump up the bass make me shake up me with slide Say they been checking for me, then I see my break light. Smoking at the air, I see is my shadow and the strobe light. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to push my weave backwards so I could just see the area at which I'm going to be putting the spray. And yeah. So to lay my frontal, I'm going to be using the Got To Be Glued Blasting Freeze Spray and I prefer this to the um, the tube, the gel, because this dries faster and I feel like I work better with the spray as opposed to the um, normal gel. Basically what I did here was to firstly spray the Got To Be Blast Freezing Spray, then go over it with my hair dryer, just run it over the specific area for 30 seconds to 1 minute. Um, once I feel like it's tacky enough, actually just run it over till it's tacky enough and then I just um, draw the frontal to that specific area, press it down until I feel like it's properly placed. So I also sprayed the Got To Be Freeze Spray on areas that I felt like it wasn't laid properly so I can just go over it then um, use the hair dryer and just make sure everything is slayed, like actually laid. <laughs> Smoking at the air, I see is my shadow and the strobe light. Uh, strobe light, strobe light, strobe light. Taking more of this Hawaiian silky thing, I'm just going to be applying this all over my weave and just watch how it transforms it. I'm also going to go ahead with some water just to get the curls popping, okay? Shining brighter than the strobe light, strobe light. Next, using a tail comb, I'm just going to define my side part and then I'm going to go over it with a concealer, just a few shades lighter than my skin, just to make it more visible. So guys, the slayage is coming together nicely as you can see this is what my hair is looking like right now so i'm going to be going in with the got to be glue and i'm just going to be using that to slick back the front of my um frontal front of my frontal wow vivian yeah <laughs> basically that's what i'm going to be doing <laughs> so the final step now is to just make sure the frontal is laid to the gods and back so i'm just going to be taking a belt from one of my dresses to tie the frontal area while i do my makeup and by the time i'm done with my makeup then <laughs> girl <laughs> this hair finna be laid guys like legit <laughs> Did it now you see me the hair like i said is from yolisa hair so basically i'm going to be telling you guys the pros of this hair and the cons as well and why i fuck with this hair you know <laughs> 
they sent me their 22 inch water wave wig and it is 180 percent density and guys i love this hair so much anyway to start with the pros i would say shipping was fast it took about four to six days to get to nigeria and that is good in my opinion second of all this hair is lightweight you guys like you know when you have hair like extensions whenever you have like a weave on your head and it feels heavy this is not it at all like it's so lightweight anyway the third pro i would say is the fact that i didn't have to make the wig and i feel like if you make wigs you would know the struggle like the struggle of making wigs so the fact that this was already made into a wig like thank you very much Elisa. i appreciate you so now i'm going to move on to the cons of this hair because as, as much as i like it there are still some things about it that i mean I don't like stress in my life anyway the first con of this hair is the fact that you have to constantly maintain it like in order to get this curls to pop you have to spray it with water you have to put like some sort of serum or mousse on it just so you can get the best of this hair number two is it's shedding when i got the hair the hair wasn't actually shedding like maybe just a few strands here and there but as soon as i plucked the front out hey nah eh, the shedding was deep but yeah the shedding is not like unbearable or whatever but i just feel like it could be better in a way like it shouldn't be that much but then again maybe it's because of the way i plucked the front towel i don't really know so there's that so i hope you guys enjoyed the video do not forget to give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video